So you're basically working with a puzzle here. Now you brought some examples of before and after that, that your company has worked on. Why don't we look at those right now? Very good. Um, this first one is the Holcombs. Okay. And uh, started out with just a builder deck, uh, a small landing outside the house uh, with a long set of stairs to the ground that quite frankly when you walked on shook which is very common with, <laughs> with those type of structures. Um, and they wanted a, a larger deck, but their project was unique and kind of fun because it was driven by this, they just put in this water feature, this pond in the back of their yard, which, which was just on the edge of a marsh that was behind them. So it was a beautiful, a beautiful view. And they said to me, our priority is we want to focus on that. We want to walk out of our house after work, have a drink and look at our pond and enjoy it and relax. So basically you're designing around a focal point here. Yes, and that's always helpful to do that because it really gives you uh, a priority as okay. you start creating. Um, this is an example of design we developed for them. Uh, we work in a CAD program. Mm -hmm. But the after pictures is what we came up with. And there were two, there's two really two main elements that drove this design to connect with that pond. The first is the type of railings we used. Um, are very thin pickets. Uh, those are only three quarters of an inch thick versus the standard, which is an inch and a half. Really creates, as I think you can see, an open view. The standard uh, code puts railings at 36 inches right. above the deck. Well, coincidentally, for most people, when you sit down, that's right in your eyes. Okay. So whatever we can do to open up that view is really helpful. Mm -hmm. They could have gone a step further and gone with full glass. That's become popular. It's very expensive and probably wouldn't fit the style of house here. So this was a good solution. 